Okay. All right. Okay. We are back. Let's uh, let's launch right into Destiny Rebellion. Um, let's go. Oh. Who do we have here? All right, Red Waters, uh, that's, hmm, okay. Uh, I popped over to a random Minecraft stream by accident and had absolutely no idea what was going on, but that guy had 50k people, uh, streaming him. It was chaos. <laughs> I was so scared. Oh my god. Uh, that, that is insane. Um. I bet that 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 chat had to probably have been moving like quick like uh like whenever there's like a games done quick event or something and there's like a bajillion people watching and chatting on that. Um I was so scared. <laughs> yeah, uh, pe pe people love Minecraft. People love watching Minecraft. I don't know. I've I've actually never played Minecraft. Um I don't know if I really ever will. It doesn't really seem like uh, the game for me. But, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That uh, XQC guy is really, really, really big. Let's see. All right. Important warnings, everybody. Read what you want to know. Uh, tutorial. Play the tutorial if you want to know all general information about minor and major items. Play, playing as a monster? We get to play as a monster in this? Checkpoints, save states, and more. Optional parts. This custom story is split into main and optional parts. The optional areas are not related to the story. Optional parts, unlike the main parts, may contain funny and or absurd situations, cheap jump scares, Less detailed maps and crazy mini games. Whoa, what are we getting into here? Uh, if you are bothered by any of these and want it strictly serious, just don't enter er any area signed as optional. The choice is yours. You also have the possibility to explore optional areas after finishing the custom story. If you are too curious, but you don't want your serious experience to be destroyed. Uh, object interaction. Uh, the custom story is more interactive than what you are used to. You can move some statues and furniture. You can also take some light sources with you. You can switch some lamps on and off. You can play the piano and the phonographs. Uh, you can grab some edges to jump higher and much more. Item usage. Another hint for you. There is more than enough oil, healing items, and cinder boxes. So don't hesitate to use them. You will not need them anymore when you finish the story. Uh, gameplay time and hints. The estimated gameplay is about three to five hours. Uh, be patient. It should be worth the time. And if you are in a hurry, uh, just skip the optional parts. You will not be tortured by impossibly difficult puzzles or boring key quests. There is a lot of reading, uh, but you don't have to read everything. When you don't know what to do, read item descriptions, mementos, and notes. Achievements and bonus items. The achievements don't help you finish the story faster. They don't give you any advantage. It's just a small challenge uh, to find how many achievements you can get. You can check, blah, blah, blah. There's 10. All right, good luck. All right, interesting. <laughs> what the fuck does he even do? <laughs> he yells a lot. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's see. Introduction. Hello. Uh, this is the hub or options room. You have three options. Push the button to choose. Uh, tutorial button enables you to enter tutorial map to understand gameplay rules in the story. Uh, it's optional but recommended. A chapter select button sends you to the menu where you can choose one of six chapters. 
Uh, if you want to replay or skip for any reason, story button uh, starts for a uh, story from the beginning. Enjoy. Uh, love, Umbakarna, author of Destiny Rebellion and Red Waters Custom Stories. All right. Okay, so it's uh, like there, there's like side quests, I guess, that get uh, pretty goofy, uh, which is interesting. Uh, we'll we'll have to check those out. I I you know I I, I want to see as much as I can, even if it isn't serious. All right. Um, I don't know. I I I I've played enough Amnesia. I think we can just kind of pick up on uh, any of the additional stuff as we go. I don't see a reason to uh, do the uh, tutorial. Uh, we might just start right in. Larry, Larry the statue. There he is. We're uh, we're 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 doing it. Press the button, Larry. Get us started. All right, fine. Be that way. Let's get right into it. Guten Tag. My name is Ralph Siever. I'm a German scientist, also a widow. Oh, well, nice to My meet you. My happy life ended before it began. Sure. My wife Christine died in train crash, 1902. Wait a minute, that's I Justine! I was 22 years old when the tragedy happened. Was I supposed to accept this terrible destiny? Maybe. But that never happened. Seven years later, March 23rd, 1909, Chapter 1, Alone Against Time. All right, hey, we're starting outside. Oh, Christine, how could you, how could you die? Uh, sadly, sadly, we don't have weapons in this, and we can't do, uh, that, uh, that joke from the movie Hot Fuzz. Like, have, have you ever stood outside with your gun up in the air shooting and going, ah! Unfortunately, we can't do that. If only. It seems like the perfect place to do it, but... Alright. Poor people could not afford a regular funeral. So they just like cram them in there? Hey, you didn't have enough money to be completely buried underground? What is this? Alright, we can kind of move that. Right? Any, any, any... I don't know who is buried here. Oh, we got a shovel we could find out. It's just a hole. How hard could it be? Exactly. Alright, um, uh, can't really... Oh, to the village. Okay. Once upon a time, a young German genius, unable to forget his frustrating past, decided to undo his fate. Haunted by wraiths from his nightmares, he has built the time machine. Will Ralph Seifer succeed in his unconventional quest to bring dearly beloved person back to life? What obstacles? Blah, blah, blah. Whoa, this is wild. Okay. Uh, not yet. At first, I have to return to my home for a lantern and other tools. We got, like, a town. Haunted house? 
Oh, we're definitely going to the haunted house. All right, map of the village. We are here. Okay, Ralph's house. Or Rape. Rape. Ralph's. Whatever. I guess over here? We all have our time machines. Some take us back. They're called memories. Some take us forward. They're called dreams. Jeremy Irons. All right, we're back home again. All right, let's see what we got around here. We got some books. I have read every single science book in this room. These are ordered alphabetically. One exact book is missing. All right, I don't know if that's part of a puzzle, but we'll look out for a book. Well, there's some, some down here. We jam it on in there. Not like that. Come on. You can do it. Look at that perfection. Beautiful. All right. I hope uh, Ralph feels better. no idea what to do. Science book in your inventory belongs to the bookshelf. What? Science book in our inventory? Well, I can't... I... Alright. I hope I didn't, like, uh break something by putting the wrong book in there. Right. Out of the way, chair. Alright, let's have a drink. Uh, no time for laundry now. All right. We feel quite relieved. Uh, I'll be lurking. Uh, gots to do homework. Oh, no problem. Uh, hope the, uh, the homework, uh, goes well. Boxes. Good, good, good. Oh, we got more cabinets here. Oh, medical kit. All right. Um, any, anything else I can open? All right, let's head upstairs. All right, we got our lantern, perfect. Uh, personal notes of Ralph Siffer. Uh, this is my very important top secret personal journal and what to do list love ralph sipper i have written all important events and plans in this journal so i would not forget a simple thing 
Uh, to avoid really long reading, skip to the last page. That is important. Okay. Well, we're 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 gonna we're gonna we're gonna sit on down and read the whole thing. Uh, let's see. Got got to come back to you. Work breaks over. That's right. Hey, Dog Nozzle, welcome on in. How you doing today? Uh, is this still the Four Horsemen one? Uh, nope, we, uh, we just finished the, uh, the Four Horsemen. Um, it, uh, uh, I, I, I didn't dislike it, um, but I do rank it, uh, not, not, not as good as The Great Work and Key, Key to Freedom. Uh, I liked both of those a bit more. Uh, that had more consistent scares. There were, uh, some parts, like, uh, when, when, I, when I went into Pestilence's area, for example, it was basically, like, a free orb. There was, there wasn't even, like, a single monster chase. Uh, that was a little disappointing, but, uh, um, uh, it, it, it it's, uh, the other parts still had some pretty, pretty decent stuff, but the ending was really abrupt. Uh, we, we got all the orbs, and then our, whoever that Catherine lady was, was all like, I'm gonna kill you, and I'm like, I'm gonna put those orbs down, and we put the orbs down and destroy them, and apparently, uh, apocalypse over, credits. It was, a uh, very, very weirdly abrupt. Um, but, uh, yeah, th this one, uh, we, we just started is, uh, called Destiny Rebellion. Um, it's, uh, it are, like, there's, like, a town, like, we, we have free roam of a town, uh, which is wild already, um, and, uh, apparently there's side quests that get really goofy and comedy-based, which is going to be interesting, um, outside of the, uh, the, quote, serious main story, um, <clears throat> But uh, you're just in time for us to play catch up on our good friend Ralph Siffer, who we are. Um, let's see here. All right, first page, July 4th, 1902, the worst day of my life. My happy life was over before it began. My wife died in in-train accident. From the first second, I did not believe this was supposed to happen. Did I have to accept such a terrible destiny? It never actually happened. I continued my interrupted studies to understand one's destiny. Uh, Juni 28th, 1903. Uh, I finished my studies and broke all university records by far. Uh, just after that, I began, be, became an apprentice to Dr. Reinhold, one of the most intelligent physicians in the world. I bought a house and sponsored his research. He aimed to forge some kind of time-space path. I was helping him as much as I could and learned quite fast. Of course, I claimed to find a way to change the past, and the doctor's research was a big chance. Uh, wait, how did we sponsor... How do you sponsor anything just, like, being, like, in college? Or, like, just graduating from college, even? How did you buy a house and sponsor research? I've been out of college for many, many, many years, and I'm still gonna be forever... I'm, I'm gonna be dead before I can pay off my student loans. <laughs> Um, uh, nice. Uh, well, I guess it would make sense that these fan mods would be a little uneven. Yeah, you know, it, it's, you know, it's not frictional. Um, but I, it, it's, it's still, it's still charming. I, I, you know, I'm still enjoying them. Uh, even if, uh, it isn't, you know, the best of them. Uh, like, there, there is, uh, that love that they, you know, they're, they're fans. And I, I can, uh, respect that and I enjoy that. Um, oh, oh, you know what? You're, you're right, Dog Nozzle. You probably had to be rich to go to college back then. That, that is right. Uh, just like right now! Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we read that. Okay, November 21st, 1906. Uh, three years 
later. I surpassed my teacher. Together we have pushed the project to unbelievable stages. We have built many prototypes of time-space shifting mechanisms. <clears throat> However, Dr. Reinhold wanted me uh, wanted to succeed in the field of scientific research. I think he suspected me that I wanted to use our invention to my own personal benefits. He did not trust me anymore. Like I cared, like I cared about that. What a loser. It's just like a fucking Doc Brown in Back to the Future Part 2. Not letting Marty bring the Grey Sports Almanac. Uh, you know, to make a, a few little side bets. You know, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, he did not trust me anymore. Like, uh, like I cared about that. I was already skilled enough to continue the research on my own. I will achieve my goal no matter what. December 10th, 1907. Our work was complicated by by huge plague pandemic that affected... Uh, oh man, yeah, all right, yeah. The translation is not the best. Uh, our work was complicated by huge plague pandemic that affected whole Central Europe. More than 40,000 people died including Dr. Reinhold. I feel sorry for him. To honor his death, I was determined to finish our work at any cost and use it for my personal benefit. Uh, <laughs> the time machine project was nearly finished. I just needed more time. Looks like the plague did not affect me at all. Maybe thanks to an ancient chemical called laudanum. But that doesn't matter at all. I'm not, I can quit laudanum anytime I want. No big deal. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm lucky I went to college back when it was still fairly cheap in the late 90s. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it, uh, it got quite, uh, when I went and, uh, well, I, I uh, started out in a uh, community college and then transferred to a, uh, a private university, which was a lot more expensive. Oh God. <laughs> oh, what decisions. But you know, you know, as in debt as I am and uh, not using what I went to school for, which is unfortunately a shame. It, it was still probably uh, one, one of the best times slash experiences of my life. You know, once in a lifetime, right? I still say it was worth it. Uh, March 19th, 1909. It looks like the time machine itself is finished. I have kept further development in secret. I can ex access it through, se through secret door behind a bookshelf. It works like science book row mechan- It works like science book row mechanism. Okay. Uh, the last thing to do is to get fuel for such powerful machine. Dr. Reinhold, that old fool, did not trust me and hid all needed nuclear rods in this village. What? What? Nuclear? Nuclear rods are just... hidden throughout the village? That, that does not sound good. But as always, I was a lot smarter. I have developed a radiation sensor. All right. Bunch of smart college guys here. All right, March 23rd, 1909. Today is the big day. I know location of six nuclear fuel rods in this village. I only need four of them to successfully charge the machine, even with a small reserve. The, lo uh, the rod locations are one in the medical center, one in the backyard rooftops, two in the old haunted house. We're, we're definitely, definitely going to the haunted house. One in Johnson's house, one in the music house. I only need four of them, so there is no need to get all six rods to proceed. So the mission is simple. Get the equipment, mainly the fake key, and burgle in the houses and steal at least four nuclear rods. Then I should return home, charge the time machine, and rebuild my fate. Alright. I already...
already love this game. Just from reading this. This is all ridiculous, and I am so here for it. This is like, uh... I don't know what 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 is below like B horror movies, uh, C horror movies. I don't know. Oh, love Ralph Stiffer. Okay, all right. Get our oil. Picked up fake key. Science book. Do you remember? Oh. You always used to light candles for me. All right. Hi, Justine. For you, just a few moments and we will be together again. of the whole deals in that uh that time travel movie primer is that like somebody was it like at a party like somebody gets shot and then they keep going back in time trying to change it but like doing it unsuccessfully and then like they eventually get to a point where they're like listening to step-by-step -step instructions of how to go through the day basically I don't know. I uh, th this is probably not a good idea, Ralph. Oh, uh, I gotta throw the ink. There we go. self-portrait all right and there that is what we look like that is ralph siffer all right well let's continue to explore hey alexander sorry dr reinhold i mean alexander but your moral principles are not going to stop me Uh, does that guy only have one eye? Does he? I don't know, he might. I see no I see no evidence of the second eye. Uh, head back downstairs. We do have the science book, but I uh, I don't know if we can jam it in there. Well, all right, we jammed it through the book that I put in there. Uh oh, there we are. This is our time machine. All right, instructions manual. 
Uh, the time machine target time and destination is set correctly. Slightest mistake could cause death of time traveler or something even worse. The dock station is charging the whole system. At least four nuclear rods are needed to make sure that everything is going to work perfectly. There is no need to connect more than four nuclear rods because of sufficient reserves. Alright, well, let's uh, head on out then. My trophy cabinet gained in science competitions and conferences. I know that I know nothing, love Socrates. No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness, love Aristotle. All right, let's uh, take a look at the town map again. I want to go to the haunted house. House optional. Alright, um, I know optional isn't required, and that's where we're supposed to get goofy. Uh, maybe we'll do an optional after we do a serious one. Okay, entertainment is optional. Uh, what is this one? This small souvenir shop contains several objects. Please consider these works of art. Be sure uh, that lots of time and effort were put into these pieces. time machines. I already read that one.
Ooh, buddy. You stay in that painting. Please. Um, I'm trying to think what this music sounds like. It almost sounds like it could be Christmas music when you're outside. The, uh, the, 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 the uh, like it, uh, uh, part of it kind of reminds me of like the Halloween theme. But like all, all, all this other stuff doesn't. It's kind of like the very beginning, like when we first came in here. Regrets. I have bought this house several weeks ago. It was quite cheap because the previous owner disappeared without any trace. They said that some murders occurred in this house. At first, everything seemed to be fine until I discovered that something is really wrong with this place. Every night, I started to fear for my life. I hear those screeching sounds. I am frightened. I hear steps. I hope that things will not find me under my bed. Love? Dietrich Eichler, July 19th, 1884. Whoa! Is that you, buddy? I think the monsters found you. This is disgusting. Looks like another victim's in this house. But what happened to them? What? What? Oh no! Oh great. We got spiders. Oh god. This is a bad idea. Yeah, that was a fun little gag. The curse. I, I like how there's one spider in the cabinet under the sink. Yes, and then I closed the door on him and still got bit. Ugh. I doubt anyone will get the chance to read this, but I must report what is happening here. No matter who you are, make sure not to stay here at night. My investigation revealed many supernatural phenomena in this house. I cannot explain it. Uh, I cannot explain it other way. Uh, the curse. Things are disappearing, moving on their own. Strange screeching sounds, giant spiders, poisonous plants, creepy possessed paintings, and... The demons. Love, Detective Harold Meinsner, November 12th, 1903.
This music is just going for it. I've had enough of these spiders. vast amounts of poisonous liquid it is not lethal but it makes you suffer and makes your skin burn just make sure not to touch it love hans und Kraut, october 21st 
Okay, my controls are opposite. Whoa. Okay, all right. Now they're back. Wow, okay. That was weird for a second. Boogeyman. Tonight's weather is stormy. I fear storms. I wanted to go to Daddy's room, but I saw a scary shadow near the stairway. I ran away from the boogeyman crying in tears. I hid in the bathroom. Now I am too frightened to leave. I still hear those screeching noises. It is coming. I must hide in the bathtub. I don't want to die. Love, Darja Schneider. January 5th, 1898. Oh my god! This must be the remains of the girl's corpse! So there really is something slaughtering people inside this house! Ah! Another omen? A deadly omen, perhaps? That was pretty crazy. This game is wild. Okay, that goes back outside. that was spider room I don't want to go back there okay so there should be a second it said there was a second rod in here where have I not been well here but I I don't seem to have access to that
guess it's like, I don't know, hidden behind some boxes. Yeah, I don't know. We got one. I uh, am curious, though, what we might be missing. Uh, maybe I should run through Spider Room again. Just to be sure. We got the second one. Let's get out of here. Scientists, I only believe in facts and laws of physics, but I am sure that the haunted house was occupied by supernatural evil powers beyond human understanding it was undoubtedly the most disturbing experience in my life so far of Ralph Sipper. All right, uh, it's certainly bigger on the inside than the outside. House was pretty fun. Uh, let's try one of the wacky side ones. Entertainment house. Why not?
feel like the closest we've uh, gotten to some monsters and they're not uh, attacking us. Just having a good time. All right. Um. All right. Let's let's see what this one is. Entertainment house. Yes. We're we're ready to have a good time. start a mini game is to read the rules and then push the button each mini game can be played only once all right the first mini game uh name a frustrating laudanum quest difficulty four out of five length four to six minutes attempt one time limit none uh, objective, the only thing you have to do is obtain the laudanum. P.S. It is really not as easy as it looks like. Why? Try it on your own. Start the minigame, push the button. Alright, let's try it. Oh, this is easy. It's running away. Oh, no. Where'd it go? No. How do I get in there? We picked up the pig. Uh, because Martin told you that you need pig fat to get through the bars. Oh. Okay. Get over here, you crazy laudanum. up the wall hurry quickly put the wall in the right side where the blue light is so the monster will come and kill you I forgot to tell you something the monsters are coming from both sides oh my god that was unexpected well go and get the laudanum Great, listen very carefully. Give the laudanum to the hippopotamus. All right. Uh, here you go. Uh, I said hippopotamus, not the cow. Sorry, you are not blind. That was just a computer error. The real hippopotamus is right there. Well done, take your reward and try thinking more positive. Hello, if you wonder what is this supposed to mean, it's easy. When you successfully complete a minigame, you get a reward. To check your reward, just look at the table, okay? Half the trophies, those are all mine. You can just take the healing items and other stuff. We got medicine and aqua vitae. A major healing item. Minor healing item. Will you get pissed if I... I guess not. He's cool with it. 
hanging out in my loincloth, developing speedrun strats for Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> I know there was another one on the other side. All right. Let's see, the second mini game, football. Difficulty, one out of five. Uh, let's see, length as you want. You can complete it immediately. Attempts as much as you want. Time limit, none. Uh, objective, everybody knows what football is. In America, they call it soccer. In Germany, they call it uh, foosball. In uh, Czech Republic, they also call it kapana. In Amnesia, you can't use your feet, so you just grab the ball and throw it in the goal. Uh, the goalkeeper is not very experienced, uh, so you would be able to score a goal with ease to get your reward. You only have to score one goal. Um, all right, let's uh, let's play some football. One big oil. You are perfect. Thank you. Oh! Okay. Alright, he's taking a nap. Pay the taxes so I can be even more rich. Uh oh. I'm not I'm not paying anything. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we're going out of order. The fifth mini game, uh, Whack a Monster, difficulty four out of five, length one minute forty seconds, attempts one, time limit one forty. Objective: Do you have some reason to hate the amnesia monsters? Well, now you can have your revenge. The objective is simple. After you get the crowbar, you have to find and destroy five monsters with it. You have a time limit of one forty. Uh, that is one hundred seconds. Uh, this is so wacky. I was saying in the last session that these custom stories kind of remind me of downloading Doom levels, and this one is totally like that. Extremely homemade. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Um, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty, pretty charming so far, though. Um, I, uh, like, it's kind of wild to have any kind of lightheartedness in anything amnesia. Uh... <laughs> Pretty weird. All right, where, where's this crowbar? I don't know where the crowbar is. this one.
Wow. Uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to whack any of them. I don't know where the crowbar is. Three out of five, like three minutes, maybe. Attempts one, time limit, no limit. Objective, you appear to see the world from spider perspective. Don't panic. Uh, you just have to find a piece of meat. After that, you turn back to normal, and then, well, you will see what happens. I like how in the crowbar one, there was a statue with the blade face point cloth, guys. <laughs> Spiders, there is no other possibility anyway. This is the mother of all spiders, and she is hungry. Feed her before she. Ah! Ah! Okay, feed! Feed! Well done, you succeeded! Alright, give me my stuff. test against it. Attempts one, time limit none. Objective, help the exterminator to protect its cheese from vermin. Just find the right chemical. Thank you. 
you are here. I am Exterminator. Please help me with this. Just try throwing some chemicals down there to exterminate those vermin and save the cheese. down there. Good job, extermination done. Okay. Time limit none. Uh, objective, well, it's not very original, but okay, this mini game is about rooms and questions. There are rooms and every room contains a question. Your answer affects what room you visit. Next, so try to be gentle and don't lie. The combination of your answers affects your prize. Don't take questions and answers as discrimination. It's just for fun. All right. So that it's too personal. Alright, well, I mean, that's my door. You are... Let's see, I thought so. At least you are honest, or try to be honest. Uh, you are playing Amnesia. Yes, and this is still Amnesia, so that means you like Amnesia. Uh, what aspect of Amnesia custom stories from these is the most important to you? Fun and entertainment, scary. Nothing else matters. Unique. Uh, because doing the same thing over and over again equals insanity. Serious, dramatic, epic, original. Um. Hmm. I mean, I went into this thinking scary, but I don't know. I'll, I'll go with unique. Uh, that that can also be involve scary. Go with that. Bravo, you have the same opinion as the author. Please continue. Which amnesia monster do you like hate the most? 
Uh, the grunt, it has many pseudonyms, so let's just call it a grunt for now. Uh, the brute. Uh, the suitor, often called Justine Monster, originally three exemplars. Aloe, Aloa, Aloa, uh, Basile, and the Mallow. Uh, choose this option if you think of any other monster, for example, those from A Machine for Pigs. Oh, I do, I do like the big, the big, big boys. I don't know. We'll go with the classic. We'll go with the classic. Uh, let's see. Your favorite amnesia character. Uh, Justine, Daniel, Alexander, Oswald, Mandis. Pretty monstrous, but I mean, in the end, Justine just kind of wanted to do her own thing. I kind of support that. We'll go with Justine. Uh, Justine, so you like playing hardcore when death is final and you cannot try again? Okay. Oh no, what did I just do? Or opinion about teleporting naked guys they are disgusting gross overused definitely not funny I hate them so much they are disgusting and I hate them but sometimes they are funny and serve as good jump scares yeah well, hey it's raining naked men hallelujah right uh, that great opinion some jump scares are quite exciting your opinion about this custom story so far too soon to judge unlike any other perfect the creator wasted his time and energy on something nobody would like <clears throat> well it is unlike any custom story i've played so we'll go with that thank you very much and that was the primary goal all right well we i guess we have completed entertainment house Even if I didn't get to bash any uh, grunts with uh, a crowbar. Thank you, it's been fun. We'll see you later. You are never too bold to have some entertainment, right? That, that is right. That is completely right. Oh, uh, let's see here. Got over here all right let's check out Johnson's house why not let's see what's going on here you know uh, it is kind of funny I, I I was originally planning on like doing this one and then doing the uh just going like straight to uh to Amadeus like the full overhaul and the thing is kind of like the finale uh, for these custom stories but this particular game right here has a sequel and I I think uh I think I'm gonna need to do that sequel before oh before we do that Uh, even the fake key cannot open this, but the nuclear rod seems to be somewhere else. The door is stuck. Fake key doesn't work. Well, alright, I guess we are going this way. Chancellor of uh, the German Empire. All 
Alright, pardon me, buddy. Uh, maybe we'll read the note first. Uh, before we uh, take the uh, nuclear rod. Uh, take, I, I don't think you need those tinder boxes anymore. My letter. How painful and dark times come to this land. I don't even remember seeing anybody happy. That Ralph Siffer, for example, poor boy, he became a widower in so young age. No sign of happiness ever since that event. He is studying every single day and every evening. He goes to the graveyard. I adore his hard determination to continue living. I cannot say so myself. Looks like the plague has really gotten to me. I feel extremely cold. My whole body hurts. I even see hallucinations. Too bad for me that I don't have any relatives or friends to bury my old rotten body. Love, Herman Johnson. All right, easy, easy. consists of several houses each house is different uh the mentor dr reinhold has scattered the nuclear rods throughout the village hoping his disciple will not misuse the time machine for his personal benefit even these measures were not sufficient box.
All right, secret nuclear rod up here, not even in a house. Uh, we have four rods, uh, which is all we need, but I, I want to explore, uh, the other houses, uh, so I think we're gonna try and get them all. All right, let's see. All right. Let's see. A shop owner's personal notes, a business diary. The music business was doing quite well lately, but unfortunately there is a lack of customers in recent months due to the plague. The customers often talk about pandemic. I created a sterile surroundings in my house, and when the epidemic is over, I plan to order the newest gramophones and guitars. I set great hopes to the gramophone. I expect that this invention will be in vogue for at least another 100 years. Love Klaus Stickler, the music house owner. I think he's right. I think he's completely right about the gramophone. We got we got Ludwig von Beethoven. I can't wait for some uh, jackass to uh, claim this music uh, as a copyright. Oh, that might be a Tinder. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, shit! I just did that accidentally. Um. Alright, nuclear rod. The housekeeper is probably asleep, but this door sure looks soundproof. The gramophone never goes out of style. That that's right. All right. Well, I guess that was the music house. 
Hey, uh, Kaneo, uh, welcome on in. Uh, hope you're uh, doing well as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad to be back to streaming. Good to be cooking some lunch while watching. Nice. Uh, what, what are you cooking today? All right, uh, we got retro. Oh, wait, yeah, you know, we, we did a couple serious houses. Serious houses. Let's, uh, let's do some mini games. Um, as soon as I unlock the door. As we, uh, continue enjoying a wacky, wacky amnesia. Whoa! Coming with me, buddy. Good old times. 
is Retro really that bad? Your first time played Amnesia? Remember when classic Amnesia was scary? Some jump scares became retro. The teleporting naked guys, for example, because nobody ever liked that. This room is retro. It contains buttons, so you can try executing some of the retro jump scares if you wanted to. Remember that this is an optional room, and you being here means that you accept the fact that anything could happen. All right, anything. All right, where's some more buttons? I want more buttons. You can't get me. the name of the developer of this, I believe. Alright, hello player. This house contains all credits and references to things used in this custom story. However, you are too early here. Or to be more accurate, you are too late. If you want to see all credits and references, meet me right back here in 1902. I hope you won't regret playing this custom story of Umbakarna, the creator. Ah, uh, it's locked. Alright. Well, I guess we'll see the credits later. Alright, we got the butcher. Also optional.
So, can I do anything here, or...? out for a nice stroll. What was that? I don't know. This door has too complex of mechanism, but I don't have any interest in going inside anyway. Really? I want to go inside. All right, medical center. Full Alexander. Oh, can we follow the guy? I don't know, can we? Jump over. Fine, I'll just go around. Uh, yep, entertainment house. We did that. Uh, what was this? Oh, yeah, haunted house. Oh, uh, let's see. Some steak. Uh, capsicum and like a tortilla is what the plan is cooking wise maybe some cheese too nice let's go all right let's head back to the medical center looks like the local doctor is asleep i should not wake him up in this time continuum. All right, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, how many did it say there were? Wait a second. 
Achievement 2, you have entered the entertainment house and nothing bad happened. Everything we can get into, yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's uh, let's head back home and uh, get the time machine a going. The time machine is ready now. Pull the lever to activate the portal. Well, could we put the rest? Oh, no. All right. It deleted the other rods. All right. Where? Ah, here we are. It's pretty funny that there's a map board with you are here, like at a mall or an amusement park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are here in this town. All right, let's portal it up. Chapter one finished. Uh, 2091, almost two centuries later. What is the human race? What was it like when human beings lived on Earth? I don't remember humanity. My race, the monsters, and the light of mankind. After that, they started to fight each other. I am Lazar, a monster. But I'm not really proud of what I am and what my ancestors have done. Did humans deserve extermination? Was there really no other way? I ask myself these questions every day. Me too. I ask my comrades to bring me some cheap car. I should meet him at a great place. Chapter 2 Unsatisfied Monster. All right, so I guess we're playing uh, one of the grunts. Wow.
Things like this can be easily destroyed with the claw. How do we claw? Oh. All right. Picked up chip card, level one. We got our computer right here. Oh, I wanted to slash it. This is the door opening system. In insert chip card here. Remember, the door will stay open only for a limited time. After it closes, use it again. Yep, we're in the future now. Planetary devastation. Wait, wait a second. Planetary devastation. World in crisis. All hope abandoned. Armageddon nearby. We will pay for sins of our ancestors. Those monsters are punishment for all of us. We were meant to live peacefully in this world. Instead, we destroyed everything. Good afternoon, Lazar. How are you? Pretty good. Gotta hit the restroom, though. so much better now after that long night of sleep you know what I'm talking about buddy yep let's uh let's wash our hands of course all right Another key card door. Mm. Oh, we don't have a level two. Are. I have brought this level two card for you as you wanted. No thanks needed. Mm. Access denied permanently. I don't like that. Bizarre? I don't know how you did. How did you get here? Uh, mind joining us? I have prepared food. 
Well, sure. Are you eating those disgusting things again? Leave me out of it. Do as you want, but when you get hungry, don't beg me for help. Drink up. What do we got here? Let's uh, try opening this door. Hello, Nessa. Where are you going? I don't know. Nowhere. Just fresh air. You can go, but beware the rival monsters. They are stronger than us, so don't mess with them all day. All right. Crossroads. It is deplorable when a human behaves like a monster, but it is pri prize worthy when a monster behaves more like a human. All right. We got a we got a save game here. We'll go ahead and save. Um, we'll probably end it there for today. Uh, got almost four and a half hours of a stream. I, I think that's a pretty good for me. Um, I think uh, I think we uh, might be able to fit in a little time tomorrow night actually um probably not gonna be a longer stream like this uh i don't have to wake up super super early um uh, but i do have to wake up early enough uh so i think we might come back to this uh for a little bit maybe a couple hours uh tomorrow evening around the same time ish uh, you know 10 p.m ish give or take um but yeah, this uh, this game uh, is very interesting so far. Uh, <laughs> it is wild. It is very different from both classic Amnesia and the other Amnesia custom stories that I have played so far, which are all, you know, uh, uh, horror-based. Uh, this is uh, definitely wackier. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, cool. That was fun. Uh, if every uh, uh, custom story was like this, I probably wouldn't be into it. Uh, but it was a fun change of pace. Um, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be into it like if it was all wackiness. But um, I, I didn't know what to expect other than it just being on a list of, you know, uh, good custom stories. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, it possibly being the, uh, the rare or rare slash good one, uh, that is weird and wacky and, you know, having comedy in it. Uh, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, retro house still, still the best house. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing to, you know, where this goes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> uh, thank you for the stream. It's kind of nostalgic seeing custom stories. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, like uh, Dog Nozzle was talking about, uh, uh, like the uh, Doom, uh, the Doom ones uh, from back in the day. 
Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's a uh, really really neat, really neat. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll uh we'll be back soon uh tomorrow night hopefully, uh to continue on with this. Uh, we'll we'll see how far we can get into it. Um, I think it did mention that it was like I, I don't know, like three, four, or five hours. Uh, so there, there's, there's, there's meat to these bones, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. And, uh, I'll set up the, uh, usual raid thing. Uh, once I get out of here. Um, maybe. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope everybody has a, uh, a good night or day or whatever time it is, uh, where you're at. And, uh, we'll, we'll see y'all later. Uh, so, uh, yeah, everybody have a good night. Uh, bye everybody.